Well, hello everybody, Mama Fee. And today I am in the kitchen cooking some, and I don't know why I'm sitting here doing that. You know, I'm, that, okay, forget I just did that. I'm in the kitchen cooking some four good sized lobster tails. And I'm gonna make a nice salad to go with it with some bib lettuce and some cherry tomatoes, and then put some lump crab meat inside the salad. So I'm just going seafood tonight. We, we really are trying to stay away from beef as much, um, just cause I have come to realize that me and my body don't like beef. I'm pushing that out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I have melted some butter in my pot. And with that, you can see my container of garlic. I've chopped it up really fine. I'm gonna dump that inside of my um, melted butter. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna come back to that. I've got some smoked paprika. So I'm gonna put some smoked paprika in there. I'm going to take some seasoning pepper. You know me, instead of pepper, I'm gonna use seasoning pepper. It just has a better flavor and a texture. I like the fact that it kind of has like little, it's coarse. I think that's what I actually like. Um, I don't know why I have two different paprikas. So I'm gonna put that other paprika down. You can use smoked or, like this one is just a regular paprika, but I use the smoked one on this one this time. Some salt and a little bit of lemon juice. Roll my lemon out just a little. I'm gonna move my stuff to the side. I have a bad habit of not realizing that I be blocking your guys' view. I'm trying to get better at that where I stop blocking your view. <laughs> See, I was getting ready to block it again. So I'm going to cut me a piece of a lemon, get rid of my seeds, and squeeze that down in there. Oh, that is going to be so good. And then I'm going to get my little, uh, my brush. I'm going to mix all of that together. Yes. Now I've already cleaned my lobster tails, pulled the uh, the shell back, and now I'm just getting ready to baste these suckers. Oh my God. So that, that garlic, wow, it's going to be delicious on top of here. Yes, it is. I've got my oven on broil. It's already been preheating, so it is ready for me to put this in there. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. Scrummy, mummy, and mummy. I'm just going to put all of this all over the... Yes, I'm just going to use it all. Why waste? And these only go in the oven, like I said, on broil for about six to eight minutes. And I think what I'm also going to do, now that I've done that, put the butter all over it, I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of the, I'm gonna do the regular paprika this time. I knew there was a reason why I took out both. I'm gonna take the regular paprika and just put a little bit more on it. That way you kind of get that red glow right on the top. And then I'm gonna take this, put it in the oven. And the oven, like I said, is already on high, which is broiled for my oven. And I'm gonna sit that in there. You know, I should probably raise, I think I'm going to. I'm gonna raise my rack, because it says six to eight inches, and I think mine is probably more than that. So I'm gonna raise this rack up one level. Just cause y'all are watching me. Dwayne! So here I go. You know, I'm always yelling at Dwayne. Something always happens. I need you! Quick! 
See, I'm not a good, I'm not a good technology and all ovens. Dwayne! See, you guys, see how ridiculous this is? Here I thought I was gonna have a real simple something. Okay, let me just go back down to where I had it. Now, now I'm not going to be able to get it on. Just because. Dwayne! He's getting mad because I think he might be upstairs working out. If I have to turn this off to get my other rack in here, I am going to be so flipping off. Thank you, God! Jesus! Okay, now I have that six to eight inches. There's the... You guys, <laughs> it is always something. See this live stuff? It'll take you down if you ain't careful. But again, I'm just doing me. So I have that in there. Uh, I think I'm going to put my little, I'm going to take a little bit of this and sprinkle on top. I should have mixed it in, but I didn't. So I'm going to pull this back out. Put my little stuff on there. This is cilantro. A lot of people use uh, parsley. I just love cilantro because I like the smell of cilantro. <laughs> it just has such a fresh smell. I, just, I love it. So whenever, a lot of times when something calls for cilantro, I mean parsley, I use cilantro instead. I can't, it's just my thing. I ain't even gonna lie. So that's supposed to be on for six to eight minutes. So I'm just gonna put my uh, timer on seven minutes and hit start. And while that is doing its thing, I'm gonna come over here. I've already got my lettuce, it's bib lettuce. So I've already got it, um, I've wet it, washed it, and letting all the water drain out of it so that I don't have watery, a watery down, watered down salad. And I'm going to, Put this, I should have had my bowl out already, but I don't. I'm going to put this in my bowl and then pat it dry. Again, just a little bit. And with bib lettuce, I don't like to tear it up too much. I like when it has these big leaves. Don't ask me why, I just do. So while that is sitting there, I'm going to take my tomatoes. I'm going to move that so you guys can see, so I'm not blocking the camera. I'm going to get here now. That goes in the sink, and this goes in the sink. And if I wasn't wrong, I'd actually be sitting here washing all this stuff as I'm putting it in the sink. I like to wash while I go, as I go, so that I don't have dirty dishes. And, uh, but y'all don't want to wash me wash dishes, so I'm going to just... So what's everybody doing today? You know, I've noticed, I've been looking. I be feeling like I'm slim and trim. And when I be seeing myself on these videos, I be saying, Felicia, you, you got to work on this. I do. Y'all ain't got to tell me. I know I'm seeing it myself. But I have lost about uh, 10, 10, 12 pounds. In fact, I had a physical yesterday with the VA. And oh my God, I was so excited because I'm probably, actually I'm probably about 12, 15 pounds lighter than I was last year uh, before I went in the house and did a physical. So I'm excited, you know, little steps, baby steps, but as long as I can get on that tonal uh, every day, every other day, at least four days a week, at least four days a week, that's my mission to stay on that, not the tonal, but the treadmill four days a week and then do the tonal three days a week. And if I can do that, and stay consistent, 
key. That's the key for me. Let me be careful with this knife because you can kill somebody with this knife. I think I told you all that the other day too. That's for real. Um, but if I can do that, I think I'm going to be okay. I'm trying. God knows I really am trying. So, what's everybody doing today? It is Wednesday. No, today's Thursday. Yes, yeah, Thursday. See, I'm always losing track of what day it is. You guys, we are so excited. Our listing, um, we had two people. Somebody looked at it yesterday, and somebody just came out of it looking at it today. And I think the ones today, they were there for quite some time. The ones yesterday, they was in and out in about 20, 30 minutes. The ones today, they were in, came in the back, walked around the backyard, had some friends come over, stayed in there another 30 minutes. We said, Dwayne, I, told, I said, Dwayne, that's our buyer right there. I'm so excited. And now I'm just saying, come on, come on, God. Deborah, we praying with the faith of a mustard seed that this is our buyer and we're going to get an offer tonight or tomorrow. Now, that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to take some of these right now because my tray is getting blocked up. I'm going to put this in my, with my bit of lettuce. And uh, you guys can't see my bowl with the lettuce. See? Keep cutting up my tomatoes. And uh, I'm trying to eat healthier too because I know it's just meat. Me and meat meat, it's just my stomach ain't really liking it no more. As you get older, you will notice that stuff that you've eaten your entire life, all of a sudden it's like, uh-oh, what just happened? So, my, Sometimes just smelling something now these days, my stomach says, don't you eat that, Felicia. I'm listening though. Guess what? I am finally listening. I don't got tired of all the dairy stuff that just keeps making me bloat, swell, gas, and everything else. And I just said, mm -mm, you got to stop doing this. You have got to stop doing this. And I love food. I am a foodie. But at some point, I got to love myself more than I love the food. Now, see, I just said something. You got to love yourself more than you love the food. You got to pick the stuff that your body says, okay, we good. We can handle that. And when it says, uh-uh, leave that alone, leave it alone. For real. I'm for real with that. So, there you go. There you be. I got two minutes left, y'all. And my little lobster tail is supposed to be ready. You're going to see. We are going to see. And I got me some glazed carrots in the bottom of it. And they should be delicious. Now, I didn't actually, you guys didn't see me do them today. I did them the other day, though. Um, and again, I, all I did was take the glazed carrots, put some uh, rice vinegar. I like that twangy stuff. I always like that twangy stuff. Some rice vinegar, some balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinaigrette. Uh oh, there's my bus telling me I got a minute left. The balsamic vinegar and uh, some salt. And some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I did all of that together, mixed all of that together. And uh, mixed it up in the pan and then put a little bit of brown sugar. When they were almost done, I just went in just a few minutes ago before I put my meat on and added a little bit of brown sugar. There's my salad, lettuce and tomato. And I'm gonna take the rest of my cilantro that I didn't use and just kind of mix that in there. Give it a little bit of freshness and get that smell in my salad. Wipe my fingers off. Now I'm going to wash my hands and my lobster tails should be done. We're going to see. Ooh, yes they are. If I wait any longer, I'll burn up my lobster tails. <laughs> now, I just want to make sure though, because actually, actually, that's just like the. I think all the glassiness is done. Look, y'all, at them lobster tails. Now I'm gonna melt me some more butter, so I'm gonna turn my oven on, and then I'm pulling out my glazed carrots that I had already put on. I'm boiling me some potato, some eggs right here because I'm gonna make 
some deviled eggs to go on the side. Turn that oven off, turn my lights out. So as you can see, I got my glazed carrots here. Those are, those are gonna be so delicious. I love just taking on them after that brown sugar really cooks down in there and then, you know, tossing it with the carrots, tossing the carrots on it. I got four boiled eggs here. I'm gonna let them cool off and then I'll uh, cut them and make some deviled eggs with them. I'm gonna take a little bit more butter. Melt down a little bit more butter in the pan that I have. Get rid of those two, put these two things away. That, 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 and then. Like I said, melt down a little bit more butter just to put on top of these. And actually, I don't even have to melt it now that I say that out loud. All I really gotta do is take and cut some slices and put on the top. It's gonna melt because it's still hot. And there, oh, delicious. The tails are bright red so you know it's done. There's no glassiness to the tails. So you know they're done. If they were still looking a little uh, glossy and whatever, then you'd know, uh, might need to cook them a little bit more. But it's not doing that, so they're done. I probably would have been better had I melted the butter, but see, look at that. Just do that. They'll be okay. You can do this when you're at home. In a restaurant, I would have melted the butter and spread it on there so I don't have to use my hands like this. But I'm at home. So there you go, there you be. Do you. Take a little bit more and put on that one. Oh, these are gonna be so good. It's just me and Dwayne. We'll save some for Jair though when he gets home from work. Cause I didn't have a chance. Dwayne made spaghetti yesterday. So he cooked for them yesterday and made them a pot of spaghetti. I can't really do spaghetti. Um, all that pasta doesn't sit well with me either. I'm running out of stuff to eat y'all, for real. I'm trying, but I'm really running out of stuff to eat. Um, so, washing my hands, Get a paper towel. I'm gonna take this crab meat and Open it up. I'm not going to use all of it because I think tomorrow I might make some crab cakes. Make crab cake sandwiches or something. We'll all eat crab cakes and those guys might want a crab cake sandwich. Um, but for now, I'm going to take... This is some really good... If you don't have fresh crab, you Phillips crab, jumbo lump crab meat, I'll buy this stuff all day long. It just makes life easy. I like easy. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and what I'm actually gonna do is, see, I like to be able to, I'm coming, get, get another dish. I'm gonna take out just enough for us to eat tonight. But I want to put it in the salad because in it, because it's not sealed tight. I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna leave that in there and do something else with that tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I think I might make some crab cakes. But for tonight, this is gonna be what's gonna go inside of this salad, and then I'll mix a couple of salad dressings that I have, a little bit of Thousand Island, a little bit of mayonnaise or something like that, Miracle Whip mix that together, put a little bit of seasoning, and I'm just loosening this up so it's not all tight. And then we'll just dip this into our salad. And then that way, whatever we don't eat today, we can take some more fresh crab out of there and put it in the salad again. But if I leave this, the crab in the salad like that, because that doesn't have a lid or something on it, it'll go bad real fast, and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna mess up my crab, so that, I ain't gonna do that. So, um, I'm just gonna, say that was quick that was easy that was let's see 20 minutes 1950 and i've got a beautiful tossed salad if you can see beautiful tossed salad 
There's the crab that's gonna go on the salad. Like I said, here's my four beautiful lobster tails grilled to perfection. My glazed carrots. And like I said, they only they cook for about 25 minutes on 400. Yeah. And then I got four boiled eggs that I'm gonna boil. And when I'm gonna cut them, I mean, they'll be done in about five or 10 minutes. We ain't in no hurry. Uh, well, I do wanna eat this, but five, about another five minutes, I'll turn that off, make me up some deviled egg stuff real quick and put that on the salad with this. And dinner is served. Mom, fee out. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And again, I'm gonna get better and better and better where I can do like those people that have been doing this for a long time where they have step one, step two, step two, step four. They got words on the screen and all of that. But I don't know, I may, this might just be how I do it. I, I ain't figured that out yet. I gotta do me. But I am gonna get better at what I'm doing. So I'm gonna say that out loud. I always, but what, what, knowledge is power. Now, I just said something. Knowledge is power. So I really do got to learn how to get a little bit more cohesive in all of this. I don't know if I'm going to do all the stuff on the screen or if I'm just going to let you see me moving around in the kitchen. I like to be able to move around in the kitchen. I don't want it to be feel like it's too um, scripted or formalized. I, I, I like being informal. <coughs> Excuse me. I like feeling like I'm just talking to y'all in the kitchen while I'm cooking. That's what I like doing. All right. Have a good night, Mama Fee out. Smooches. Oh, go to my website, mama-fee.com. There's some fabulous stuff out there. When you click, when you get inside the website, go up to the top left where it says products because then you can see everything that's in there. Um, so support me on that. Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Go to my um, Facebook page. Go to my TikTok. Go to the... Uh, Instagram, whatever one is your thing, subscribe and just follow me. I'm gonna start doing this more and more and more. You watch, I'm gonna start talking a whole lot more. I'm gonna bring people on, all walks of life. Everybody got a story. If you want me to tell your story or if you wanna tell your story through me, send me something and let me know. I'll schedule it, we'll go live. I'm serious about that. I want people to be able to tell their story. Smooches, Mama Fee out. And now we're at 22.46. See, that's not bad. Holler. See, this thing is supposed to be stopping. And it's not. You know why? Because I have it upside down.